Dennis Sixkiller has been the voice of the Cherokee people, hosting the nation's radio show, Cherokee Voices, Cherokee Sounds, for 11 years. The show is broadcast in both Cherokee and English and archives the fading voices of our Cherokee elders. My name is Dennis Sixkiller and I'm a translator specialist and also do a radio program for called uh, Turkey Voices and Turkey Sounds. There's a guy who had his, lost his son a few years ago that I knew as I grew up in Jay and I was living in Tahlequah just a few years ago and I called back home and I told him I was sorry to hear about his loss. And he said, Dennis, what do you do now? I said, uh, I do uh, translations and I do a radio program for Cherokee Nation. He said, he got quiet for a second and said, how'd you get so smart? <laughs> I said, I didn't. I said, I have a lot of people fooled. Because <laughs> he remembered me the way I was back then. <laughs> Oh, she didn't do that, Ellie. Ellie's good. No, no, the end of the day, you guys, it's a lot uneasy like that. The guy can't even know that. But I never dreamed I'd be doing what I'm doing now. But what I really appreciate about what I do now is I get to listen to the elders. I hear a lot of stories from the elders, and and I can relate to a lot of their stories because I grew up that way too. I was born and raised in Jay, Oklahoma, in a two-room house. There was uh, seven uh, children and uh, with our parents. And we didn't have no running water or any electricity. Actually, when I was a kid, it wasn't too bad because I didn't know a whole lot better than that. <laughs> than that. But when I think about it now, you know, yeah, it's, it was rough, it was hard. And every time we got in trouble, one was going in trouble like that. He would sit us down and lecture us in Cherokee, all in Cherokee, and uh, I used to hate that. I thought it was like for hours, but it's probably about five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever at the most, you know, but man, that was worse than getting a spanking. We get up early, but in order to listen to the radio, but this is just my normal routine. That rain sounds good through the window. <laughs> uh, it's. It's really good. I mean, I, we don't. We try not to miss it. <laughs> I used to work on Sunday mornings, and just right before I left, well, uh, Dennis would start giving the words out, and I'd run and I'd get the get paper and copy it. Then out the door, I would go to work. <laughs> it's just strange. We have to move the radio from corner to corner to try to get us a good station or hold it up in the air. Sometimes we take turns holding it up. But when the turkey words come on, we have to sit, find a place to set it down. Now it's time for turkey words. And before I give you the words, I'll give you the turkey vowels. We have six vowels in our language. We have the A, E, I, O, U, and V. And here are their sounds. All, A, E. In the home, it was all Cherokee. I never, honestly, I can, I can honestly say that my mom and dad, to each other, they never spoke any English that I know of. They go in here. Uh, uh, Turkey songs, all the songs on the radio are in Cherokee. I like to keep it that way because a lot of people do appreciate these songs. Back in 1973, they recorded Elder Singing, and the first time I put that on here, I just started crying. No, because 
because I thought about all of our elders. Now how, how that they're gone on, and I could still hear them singing. And still see them sitting there. And, Made my heart feel good down the way, but on the other hand, it was sad, and because this one was my uncle, was Sam Hyder, and he could really sing, and, and I just missed those times, you know. It's about all I can say about that. It was really touching. Don't think about it though, isn't it? <laughs> And that's why this program is so important to me. That's it. <laughs> well, you know what time it is. Time for it to part ways again already. Goes by pretty quick, doesn't it? And I want to thank each and one of you for tuning in today to join me. I always appreciate that. And call in sometimes and let me know about it. And if you're a speaker, Call me, and if you want to talk on the radio, I'll sure come to your house and visit you. We can talk all the turkey you want. You might want to sing a song or two if you're a singer. Had a little bit of rain this year recently, and it's always good to have rain. I wonder why it always rains right after I mow my lawn. Sometimes I wonder. I guess that's how it goes sometimes, isn't it? Until next week, please take care. Well, don't. <laughs>